Hello and welcome back to the pre-match show as we're about to face Forest Green Rovers in our 30th Skybet League 2 clash of the season. We're going to hear from Danny Cowley in just a few moments, but first let's hear from Jaden Richardson. Jaden, players must be looking forward to Saturday's game. Does it mean more to the players because it's against the side that are nearest in the league or is it just another game? Uh, every game of football is, is an important game of football, but... Obviously, the situation we're in, um, it adds that little bit extra. Um, but yeah, we have to just go into the game with every game thinking that we have to win every game. And for you personally, you're still getting to know everyone, but how different was the first game when you only had one training session to the second game where you've had a, you had a good amount of time between the games to, to get to know everyone? Yeah, um, the managers here are, are big on connections. So having that time to build connections with the boys on and off the pitch is, is massive. So hopefully we can progress with these connections and it can help us on the pitch and everyone can see that. And obviously the other thing that new, new managers bring into a club is new ideas and it's just a case of how quickly they can get those ideas into the players and, and across in games. Yeah, we've been working intensely on in training on what they want to bring to the team and how they want us to play. So. Like you said, uh, um, it's, it's good for the, for the boys that were here before and also good for the new guys to, to connect on their ideas and everyone come together. Yeah. And obviously last Saturday was our first win for a little while and something to build on now into these next few games. Yeah, um, we want to keep the momentum going. Um, we had to fight and dig in for that win, but the boys deserved it, so it was good. And you personally must be enjoying it, and, you know, getting out there, having minutes and and enjoying your football and getting that first win for you since you've been here. Yeah, like I say, um, every footballer just wants to play all the time. So for me personally, it's it's the best feeling to just play and be out there again. And, and away from the pitch and actual training, how are you getting used to the area and uh, settling in this part of the world? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a lot different to what I was used to. It's a bit quiet down here, but it's what I needed and it's good that um, all the boys are in the same area. So we're all together, like I said, building those connections and it is a very nice area. Yeah, and it's interesting you say about those connections because one thing all the lads we've spoken to, even when we've been near the bottom of the league, they've said that the spirit in the squad and the togetherness is there. It's just about translating it into results now and performances. Yeah, literally the team spirit is, is high enough. Like I said, the word connections again, the managers have just built a massive connection for everyone. So for us, it's, it's a good feeling in the camp. And I mean, do you look further than the next game? at you know, teams that you're coming up to play against or just is all the focus on Forest Green this week? Uh, all the focus has been on Forest Green. We just take it game by game because we need to prepare for each game different. So we look at the game by game, yeah. It's great to see Jaden settling in and I'm sure he'll be hoping to make an impact this afternoon. You can see the lineups on our website and on our social media. Now, let's go back all the way to October 2020, when was the last time we beat Forest Green Rovers here at the Jobsurf Community Stadium with Noah Chilvers, the only man on target.
A great header from Noah Chilvers early on in the game. And let's hope for a similar result this afternoon at the Jobsurf Community Stadium. As we mentioned before, let's hear from our head coach now, Danny Cowley. Danny, it's the last day of the transfer window. As a new manager here, are you hoping or wishing it was extended so you can look at what you need to bring in or you want it shut because of, you want to keep what's here? No, I think probably we'd like it to be shut um, straight away if possible. But uh, no, we, 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 I suppose, have a, have a few hours to wait. But um, yeah, January transfer window shutting on, on February the 1st is a new one on me. But it's, um, yeah, we're pleased with the work that we did, obviously. I think transfer windows, particularly January transfer windows, are never easy. Um, they're never easy when you've had four or five months to plan. So um, to come in mid-window and have to be pretty reactive hasn't been easy. But but credit to, to all the staff, particularly Ross and Dimitri, they've been they've been brilliant in their support. And I think we did some some really good work last week. I think the the aim was to um, do all. Of, all that we could to try to retain our status in this division um, during this during this window, and I think we've made some really intelligent and also some really sensible signings. Players, um, Jaden Richardson, Riley Harbottle, that have done really really well at the level. Um, I think Alistair Smith has excelled at the level as well, um, and of course Harry Anderson is a is a player that, that won the division at, at Lincoln with us and, and also got promoted out of the division with, with, with Bristol Rovers. So, no, I think we, um, we've done some, some good work to this point. Um, I don't see us having any more incomings. However, you, you have to be ready to, to react. And I suppose naturally you expect the unexpected in, in, the, in these situations. Um, I know Dimitri's phone has been pretty hot with, with lots of clubs keen on, on some of our young players. But the, the great thing, I think, for us is that, that, that it's on our terms and this is, um, this is important. And obviously, it sounds like you're really pleased with the, the work that's been done behind the scenes on recruiting players in. That must give you like, good confidence that we can get where you want to get to before the end of the season. Absolutely. I, I think for us, like I said, it was about making intelligent and sensible signings. We wanted to bring some athleticism and physicality and some competitive, competitiveness to support the, the players that we already have in the building. I think we've done that. We've also been able to sign players that have experience at this level. And of course, when you're in the position that we are in the league, that, that, you know, that's not always easy. Um, so, so credit to, to everyone. Um, and now I'm just hoping that we're, we're able to keep hold of our, of our young players because we've only just got to work with some of them, but it's, they're, they're, they're obviously really good players. And as, as a consequence of having really good young players, you understand that, that other clubs and, and other people also, also feel the same about them. And I suppose that's why Dimitri's phone has been hot. But, but Robbie has just been brilliant. I think you know, we know how much he invests into the academy. Um, but I think that the, we have a clear strategy of, of trying to develop young players here um, and then enjoying them in the first team. And the academy do a brilliant job. I mean, what other, what, what other League Two academy produces the likes of Sanson and, and Brad as, as two number nines? Just, in, just incredible. Um, and now it's our job to kind of nurture that talent, to keep developing them, to hopefully enjoy them in the first team for, for a good period of time. Um, and then when the time is right for them and also for us to then, to then yeah, sell, sell the assets and then reinvest that money and, and continue to, to grow as a football club. And that next challenge for you and the players is, of course, Forest Green Rovers on Saturday. Does it become a bigger game because it's two teams are, you know, near, in, in, near each other in the league? Or do you need the players just to take it as just another game? Well, I think it's the biggest game of our season because it's the next one. Um, the narrative all week has been about winning on winning and I think this is what good players do and what good teams do. They, they win and we were able to find an away win on, on Saturday against Morecambe but they then retain their hunger and back that performance up and, and, and win again and this is, this is our aim. We understand the challenge ahead of, a, ahead of us. We play a Forest Green team um, with, a, with a new manager themselves, you know, Steve. Steve Cottrell is a guy that I know well, um, a very tactically intelligent manager, very experienced, knows the levels very, very well. We've had many a battle and um, we, we, we anticipate another one comes Saturday. Yeah. And you'll be able to put yourself in his shoes because 
is only a week or so in the job like you were a couple of weeks ago. I mean, how much information can be got into the players in that short spell? Well, this is it. It's, um, it's always a challenge when you first come in and, you know, Steve would have lived it um, a number of times before and he's a very experienced manager. I have a lot of respect for him and he would have been looking for the quick wins and how to influence the team. Um, he, his teams are always very, very well organised, um, particularly against the ball. So, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the challenges that that brings. I think also with the transfer window, we know that they're being really, really aggressive with their recruitment. Certainly the word on the street. Um, I think they were able to win Christian Doidge in, in just yesterday. We're told that they're they're looking to, to add to their squad today and they've already got a really good squad and a really big squad. Um, so, so yeah, for us, I think it's really difficult to predict exactly what they're going to look like Saturday. So we've just put all of our energy and focus into our own performance, which is really, really helpful, to be honest, Dave, because we have still so much to work on as a, as a, as a team to get to the place that we want to, want, want to get to. It's great to hear from Danny. And remember, you can see the team that Danny's picked for this afternoon's fixture on our website and on our social media. Right, now it's almost time for kickoff. Get out there, support the boys and cheer them on as they take on Forest Green Rovers. <laughs> 